Greetings, my friends. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like button. And as well, hit that subscribe button as well as that bell notification. It would help out a bunch. Now come, come, my friends. We have a video to watch. Hope you enjoy. This is her boat, right? I'm pretty certain. And this was the only boat that was coming to this dock, and that's what she was telling me. Um, Hi, sweetheart. <gasps> Dear. Oh my god, it looks like you haven't aged at all. Well, uh, you can thank my magic for that. Right, right, of course. Yeah, you're able to look your age at all times. Look at you. You're so cute. Oh, well, you're looking as great as ever. Oh, <laughs> well. I mean, I have been, you know, looking after my form ever since I left for Atlantide. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, how was the how was the travel? Were you everything good? Oh yeah, it was great. The ship was actually pretty comfortable. <sighs> good to hear. I know, like, randomly we just got a winter storm, so all the water is full of ice. So I was getting a little bit worried that you would have some troubles getting over here. Yeah, I saw that too, and honestly, I'm pretty surprised we're able to make dock. <sighs> yeah. Definitely can tell that, but Atlantide, we're you know we're all f full of surprises. It makes complete sense. Oh um oh I forgot to mention the kids are they okay? Fine. They're they're fine. They're fine. Yeah, they miss you though. I miss them too. Both miss Naya and Amaya really badly. Hmm, makes me like really worried about them. But I mean they're growing up so fast and I feel bad for, you know, not being there for when they're growing up so much. Well, it's okay. Well, you know, like, the money you've been giving us has been really helpful with the farm and everything. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, of course. Um, you could thank uh, Grimshade for that one. We've been able to get some real good money as of recently. We did pretty well with the Grand Magic Games, so we got some extra money. That's great. Yeah. Um, oh, do you have any uh, bags or anything? You want me to get anything? Are you Are you good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, okay, if you, if you say so. Just, you know, I'm just really happy you're to have you back here in Atlantide, Rachel. Honestly. Well, I'm happy to be back too. I've missed you so much. Missed you so much too. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> um. Oh. Uh. It's, that being said, though, I, I know it's probably a little bit cold. I'm kind of used to it, but you know. It's probably cold for you, but um, yeah. I have the place reserved for you where you're going to stay. Um, it's only a little bit of a hike. I mean, I can okay. take you around. It's a very beautiful city. Um, sure. <laughs> it's very peaceful. Yeah. Very peaceful. I'd like to hear all about Atlantide ever since I left because it's been a few months. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah, feel free. Follow me. Um, I could tell you a little bit around it. Um, yeah, the city has been really peaceful. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it wasn't for a little bit, but we managed to take care of that. Um, there's been a lot happening here in the Lantide, unfortunately. 
<laughs> well, it wouldn't be Atlanta unless something was happening. Uh, you could definitely say that. That's definitely for certain. <sighs> but thankfully, Grimshade, the Protectors, Divinus, you name it. They, uh, they've been really protecting uh, Atlantide here. They've been doing really good stuff. Uh, That's more, so great to hear. Yeah, more than I can ever do. But, you know, as long as the city's safe, that means that, you know, I'll still be making money for you. And you and the kids will be completely fine back at our hometown. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I want you to be safe, too. I'd hate if anything happened to you. Right, right. I don't know what, mm-hmm. I, don't know what I would do myself without you. I mean, likewise, but... Oh, don't worry too much about it. As you know, I'm sharing a body with the first ever guild leader of Grimshade. Alamos has been pretty good protecting myself, I will admit. Well, that's always good. Yeah. How is he doing, actually? Uh, he's been... Yeah, he's been doing better, actually, than he has a few weeks ago. That's definitely for certain. Um, I'll, I'll tell you about more of that once we get to the place. Um, I feel like, uh... I feel like that's something that you're probably going to want to sit down for. It's a big story. Uh, but he's been doing pretty good. I mean, he's a little bit cranky here and there, but that's Alamos for you. He's always like that. Mm-hmm. No, I could already... But I know. Yep. <laughs> I could already hear him yelling in my head about how I said something about that. Oh, uh, would you shut up, you? It's fine. I'll let you talk to her in a bit, okay? Just let me have some time with my wife, okay? God. Jeez. He'd be getting along a little bit better, but he's still a little bit naggy. Hmm. I can understand that. Yeah. And, oh, and, um, you're probably wondering about Viper, how he's doing. Yeah, yeah, actually. How is he doing? Um, he's gotten better. He's not nearly really? as cranky as he used to be. Oh, he's still got that attitude. That's definitely for certain. That's always with Viper. He's always like that. Always got that attitude, I swear. That's why you're over here too. Can you can, maybe you should whack him in the shape for a little bit for me? <laughs> I could always try. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> back when we were over at our hometown, you used to always give us that stern talking, especially when Viper tried to act up a little bit. <sighs> mm, well, if he's in our home, I'm not gonna let him act out like that. I'd have to treat him like one of our kids. Honestly, you know, he's our, he's basically our age, but he acts like a freaking child sometimes. But that being said, though, he's. Uh, He's been doing a lot better. From what I heard, he found someone. Like, really? Like, like who? Like a girl. Wait, really? Yeah, he managed to find someone who actually liked him for who he was. <gasps> That's so exciting! Yeah. Uh, she's a little bit crazy, but, you know, so I didn't think uh, Viper would like the crazy type, but, you know, I guess there's always someone for someone out there, you know? Oh, that makes me so happy. I'm so happy that they're together and they're happy and everything. Um, well, I don't know. Viper's never, Viper and happy never go in the same sentence, but, uh, I don't know. I've seen the smile on the guy a few times here and there ever since. Oh, that makes me so happy because I don't think I've ever seen him smile. Trust me, I didn't either. With everything going on in the past year, I didn't think I'd ever see that guy smile. Ever since he got back to Atlantide, he kept yelling how much he hated it. He was just like, I hate Atlantide. I wish I never came back, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, he probably liked how peaceful it was back in our hometown, honestly. But. Yeah, definitely. But I'm happy that, uh, you know, he found something. He actually yeah. found someone. Oh, snap. I just realized how cold. It, it's still snowing over here. It's, ugh. You know what? I'm going to bring you over to the actual place. We'll, we'll talk in there, okay? I managed oh. to pick up some um, some fresh tea for you. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Yes, I would love some tea. Oh, you definitely have never tasted this before. It's from a place called Salod. Oh, let me tell you. Salod? Well, I definitely got to try this one. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's definitely authentic. That's definitely for certain. But it's absolutely delicious to die for. But um, c- come on. Uh, it's only a little bit of a short walk. We'll get over there in a sec, all right? All right. Can't wait to try this tea. Yeah, I told you it was only going to be a little bit of a walk. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, I, did you like the sights? I mean, the place is a lot better when it's at nighttime. That's definitely for certain. Oh, I can imagine. I mean, all these buildings, they're so beautiful in this bridge. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're surprised how much of these buildings stay up after all the crap that Atlantide goes through. But you know, <sighs> the city's still really pretty sometimes, I will admit. 
not gonna get used to it. Especially, uh, <laughs> I'll show you Grimshade at some point, but um, it's uh, it's a different look than what you see here. A lot more different of a look. Hmm. Um, Alamos likes the more you know gothic style of like 1600s type deal. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, um, this is the place. This is the place that we got in here. Aw, it's so cute. Yeah, it's adorable. Um, <laughs> what? Hmm? 30,000? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just a monthly fee. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, um, Alamos was saying something about the fact that he would pay for it, you know, to like, you know, for hospitality of the past year. Oh, well... You'll have to let him know I say thank you. Yeah. And by paying for it, I mean he's going to make Viper work for it. So, you know, whatever. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but Viper's been paying off some debts as of recently. Because um, you remember, I remember before that he had a bounty on him, you know, because he was kind of a uh, criminal. Yeah, wasn't it like a really big bounty too? <laughs> it was a lot more than we even realized because it came with interest. So Viper's been working it off over at the Protector's Guild. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, I didn't sorry. know they put interest on bounties, but okay. <laughs> I didn't know either. But, you know, Lofo said something about interest, and now it's stay there. But this is the place that we managed to get for you. Oh, it's so cozy. Yeah, it's it's, it's adorable, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I know, it's got a lot of room. I know it's a little bit different than, you know, the little shack that we have at home, but I thought, you know, it comes with a kitchen and everything. I thought you would really like it. Yeah, I like it. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to hear. Um, oh, yeah. Make sure you stay a while, you know? Keep the cold air. There's a nice, like, you know, two bed over here. It's, you know, I'll Ooh. be if you I'll make sure to stay over here when you're over here. Of course. Of course. Almost. I don't Aww. really care what he has to say. I'll stay over here for a bit with you. Oh, I really like that. Of course. Of course. That's exactly. You know what? He he owes me, you know, he definitely owes me for <laughs> everything that he's been doing the past couple of days. I mean, also for uh, taking your body, but you know. Oh, yeah, about taking body. Oh, you are going to absolutely love this one. Alamos has been getting himself in a little bit of trouble as of recently. Um, trouble how? Like, in what way? Is he fighting people or? Oh, no, he always does that. Like, I'm not, that's not something I'm worried about. He's always going to fight someone no matter what. And he's won every battle so far. So far. <sighs> But anyways, um, no, it's about, uh, relationships. Wait, relationships? Like, there's more than one? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he doesn't just have one girlfriend. He has two girlfriends now. He has two girlfriends? Yeah, it's it. I mean, that's not the part that I'm upset about. They all they all agree that's okay. They have a whole relationship together. It's kind of adorable. Oh, that's actually. the thing that happens. Like, yeah, but like, this is your body. Yeah, I know. Trust and me. And I'm married to this body. There's an issue here. Yeah, I know exactly. That's what I've been yelling at him about. But he he just completely he just decided to go off and do it himself. I knew you were gonna be kind of upset about it, but. Oh, uh, great. Um, speaking of the devil, I think he wants to talk to you. Oh, of course he does. He probably, you know, he probably pushed some button. I don't know. Alamos, be gentle to my wife, okay? Freaking scumbag. Oh, speaking of the devil, it's the wife, yes. Rachel, oh, it's been a pleasure, you know, not being able to see you for quite some time. I'm glad to see that nothing has changed on you. But, um, do you have an issue with me having a relationship right now? Uh, I do because you're using my husband's body. Oh, I don't see why that's a, really that much of a problem. It's not like it's actually him doing it. It's me. I know, yes, maybe we're using similar parts and all, but that you, you should know that it's perfectly fine. It's not like Pat wants to do anything about it. Still, it's not right. Like, it's kind of disrespectful to me that you're doing that. Oh, oh and, respectful. And you're, you're just using his body. Mm-hmm, yeah. Well, what do you expect me to do? Do you expect me to just sit here in the body and be lonely and, and not have a relationship? You don't know how old I am right now. 426 years ago, and I've never had a relationship until now. And you're saying that I can't have one? Well, yeah, because 
Like I said before, you're using my husband's body, oh. and we have children yes, at home. Yes, yes, I know that you have children no. back at home. They wouldn't shut up last time I was over there. Yes, I know that you have children, and I on a Maya. Yes, yes, of course. But what? So Pat gets to have fun and everything, and gets a loving wife and the loving kids, but I don't get something like that. You know I've been saving this lad's butt for the entire time he's been over here in Atlantide, and now you're giving me nothing but this Respect. Well, you're disrespecting me by using his body and going around and hanging out with other people and being in a relationship with two girls. Yes, yes. What what about the fact that I'm with two girls? Is that is that something to be found upon as of recently? I know it's a thing people do and I'm fine with it, but it's just the situation that we have right now with you and Pat is just it just it's just wrong. Oh, wrong. So, what do you expect me to do then? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do instead? I don't know. Like, I guess I can't really say anything because you're kind of just stuck in there. Exactly. I know it was kind of my choice to be in here to begin with, but it doesn't mean that I'm not a person of myself. And sometimes people have needs. And I wanted my own relationship. Funny enough, I managed to get two girls instead of one, but they're both lovely, and I bet you right now that they will treat me and your husband's body very respectfully. Ugh, I just don't like it, like knowing that. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. I know the boy, the lad Patrick over there was very, very against the fact that I wouldn't do it on this, but it's fine. I tell you right now, it is perfectly fine unless you have something else to say to me about it. Do you have anything else you wish to say to me, Rachel? Well, all I'm going to say is that if you don't stop with this relationship, I'm going to do something about it. <laughs> you are going to do something about it. You are going to do something. What someone that can only magic is able to alter their looks. You think that you could really do something about it? You better. Um, I don't think you remember that much. I know I've been gone for a little bit, but I happen to be a celestial dragon slayer. And I could take you out in an instant if I ever felt like it. Oh, I'm well aware you are, but exactly. I'm also aware of the fact that if you do that, you'd also be a murderer. Uh-huh. Yes. And then you would go to jail, and that wouldn't leave a very good name for Grimshay, would it? Mm, I'm not going to be talking to you anymore. Uh, oh, I guess I'm in control again. Oh, hi, dear. Oh, hi. it's you again. Yeah, um... Alamo says he doesn't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> I don't blame him. I kind of just told him off. Yeah, well, I did hear everything you were saying. Jeez, you were a little bit harsh. But at the same time, he kind of deserved it. He was being kind of a little jerk. It's but just how I feel. I just... Uh, I it's not like I'm against those types of relationships. It's just the fact that it's your body that I don't like it. Yeah, I understand. I understand completely. Remember, I still have access to uh, Gemini. And we're able to split our forms. You know, like... Uh, he, we take over. I take over one portion of the body. He takes over the other, and we're able to move on. Basically, split entities. If anything got really crazy, I'll make sure that he does that. So you know, you don't feel you know uncomfortable. I promise. Okay. Well, that's always good. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy to see that he's finally found love, but like, <sighs> I wish he did it when he wasn't in my body. Yeah, see, that's just how I feel, too. I know. I know completely. It's fine. <sighs> that's something I'm going to have to deal with. But I promise I'll work it. We'll work this out. I promise, okay? Okay. Okay, good. I believe you. I mean, we've made stuff work before. I mean, yeah. our family's still doing good because of you and what you've been doing and <laughs> right. how we've been like, doing everything, so. Yeah, exactly. I, I won't doubt you for a second. Glad to see that. Thank you, dear. Really do appreciate You're welcome. that. Um... Oh, um, yeah, oh, I forgot to mention about the other guilds, um, because of oh. what's going on, yeah, but Alamos has been doing some stuff with the other guilds, making sure that, like, you know, we're friends with the other ones, but still somewhat making rivals with some of the other guilds. <sighs> oh, He's oh, like Protectors and Divinus? Yeah, and there's a, <gasps> oh, there's another guild. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh, oh, oh. There's this... another one? Yeah, um, 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 yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh. I'm gonna have to, uh, you're definitely gonna have to, uh, you know, listen to this one. That's definitely for certain. 
Um, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so there is a third guild, the Protectors of Divinus, and then there's a third one named La Carnival. It's a uh, more of an entertainment guild. They more do just make sure that the citizens of a land tide are like you know entertained. They perform performances, you know, circus stuff. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, the stuff that they've done, it's not a hundred percent the best. They're still learning, but they definitely can perform a good act. They definitely got a couple of laughs after me um, a few times here and there. But um, the guild right now is led by a person named Flurry. And, um, mm. this flurry, uh, God, this is so awkward to say, but it's Floret. Wait, wait, what? It's Floret? Floret is an Atlantide. Y you <gasps> know, the, gr the girl that really helped us out over at the mansion? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. I, um, ran into her a few months back. We were able to catch up. Thankfully, she's, you know... Still the sweet young girl that we always known her to be. But uh, she's definitely gone through a little bit different. Uh, she's a clown now. Oh. It's, uh, yeah. She honks. Uh, it's, it's, it's different. It's definitely different. But she still has the same, you know, sweet, kind voice that she's always had when, like, you know, things are calm. She tries to put on this, like, act of, like, you know, she's, like, this entertaining clown and tries to be super super energetic and just bouncing off the walls with her plant magic. But honestly, at the same time, she's still the sweet florette that we always know. And I managed to talk to her a few times. She's, uh, she misses you. Really? She still talks about me? Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, after I left to come to Atlantide, she was taking care of you guys. And yeah, from what I remember, you never gave her a hard time. You were just so sweet. You treated her as one of the family. Because she is family. Right. I mean, that's what I tried telling her. Um, that's why I tried telling her as well here that, you know, we still see her as family and then I owe her a great deal of debt. And I feel like, you know, I do so still owe her something. I mean, back at the mansion, we used to live terrible, awful. That, our boss was just so rude to us. But Florette made it, you know, livable. It's, you know, I feel like we still owe her something. I mean, I know that running in Guild and all, she's super busy. And she's been really, really, you know, stressed out about making sure the Guild Hall is all good and stuff. But I want you to go visit her at least you know once before you head back home i would love to good I, I i figured you would um i know the kids would probably would love to see her too but you know it's all right i think i think it's all right I, mm -hmm. i'm pretty certain you know maybe i know it's a, a while ago but you know i'm pretty certain our kids will still remember florette yeah i would assume so yeah she was always so sweet. Now well, that actually reminds me, um, the, 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 the house, you know, the land's still doing good. Everything, the farm's still going good. Yeah. Yeah. The farm's going great, actually. Oh, thank God. Good to hear. Yeah. But the lands with the mansion, I mean, a few months back, like I heard some explosion noises. I didn't really think anything of it, but. Explosion noises. What do you mean by that? I just heard loud booms in the distance, and like I knew it was in the direction of the mansion, and I heard it, and I was kind of—I just didn't really think anything of it because I was just like, "Well, I hear this stuff sometimes." Hmm. I wonder what who that could have been. A few months yeah. back, uh, that was during the time of the Grand Magic Games, but oh wait, the only person I could think of is—was it Richie? It was, um, oh, it was, uh, <laughs> um, this person named Richie. He happens to be the, uh, guild leader of Divinus, or at least co-leader of Divinus. And apparently, he's had a relationship with Florette in the past. Um, Wait, really? Yeah, they had a kid and everything. 
Wait, what? Yeah, they didn't really bring it up too much over at the mansion, but yeah, he he's had he's tried to come up to me a few times asking about it and stuff. Remember, yeah, I know they she told us never to talk about her son because it's very very personal to her and how she lost him and stuff. But I don't know. I have this feeling that they're gonna get back together at some point, you know. That'd be really great if they did. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about Richie, like, and them dating, but as long as, like, you know, they support the child, that's, you know... <sighs> that's all I care about, you know? Yeah. The I mean, they should definitely do what's for the best of the child. Exactly. The, the child doesn't deserve it. I mean, even if there's, like, you know, troubles between the two of them, the child deserves, a you know, a, a decent, respectful life with the two of them, right? Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, that's what we did for our kids, so... Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't live together right now, but we still make it work. Yeah, I know. I'm... I'm really sorry. It's okay. I, I, I would love to be back over at home and everything, but... I mean, I was able to, like, you know, support us over here in the land side. And, you know, dealing with Alamos inside of my um, body, it's not very easy to come and visit home sometimes. No, I don't blame you. I mean, yeah. Yeah. That old geezer has an attitude anyways. Exactly. I'm hoping maybe one day I'll be able to, like, you know, come over here without having to worry about Alamos, but, you know, maybe one day. Maybe one day. It'll happen. I know it will. <laughs> I know. I really do miss the simpler times back at home. Mm -hmm. And I really don't... I don't really like, you know, being this... You know, hot, like, hitman, pretty much. I really don't like it, but, you know, it's just, it's just the where the money is, unfortunately. I haven't done anything bad. It's just, I don't know, it feels, I don't know, I feel, you know, a lot better if I was just over at a farmland. I know. I know how you feel, but this is what's helping our family right now, and the circumstances are awful, but it's, it's really helping us. Yeah. I'm and I do miss you, and the girls miss you so much. And I know you're going to come back and you'll live with us someday. Of course I will. And we'll be waiting for you. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear it. <sighs> when you head back, make sure you tell tell the girls that Dad loves them, all right? Oh, I will. Good. All right, good. You know what? Oh, um you're over here let's actually have some fun um you know um i remember that tea i was telling you about i bet you would freaking love that stuff right oh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the was it the salode tea yeah so yeah from, from a town named salode <laughs> i'm gonna have to tell you about that but um yeah um go ahead um prepare your stuff in the um the bedroom you know get yourself all comfortable you're gonna be staying here for you know at least a week you know better make sure you're you're comfortable and all okay yeah. All right, I'll go and make yourself some, you know, some food and some tea. All right, sound good? Okay. All right. Thanks, babe. Of course, hon. <laughs>